Once, some years ago, Dr. Sarcophagi was a living, breathing human being. After sniffing a fatal dose of pixie dust from a rancid pixie stick candy provided to him by Toon Drug Dealer and former cartoon star Fat the Rat Albert, Dr. Sarcophagi dies and is resurrected as a toon himself. Undeterred by his new incarnation, he produced episodes of the show Sarcophagi for Show, which featured dead and undead performers. These are those episodes. Bobby, who's our first guest ghost? Uh, I believe they're saying comedian Red Buttons. Oh, I love <laughs> Materializing now. Ladies and gentlemen, our first guest for tonight, Red Buttons. Here it is. It's so wonderful to have you here. I've been a fan of yours for years. I, I just tell you, it's just wonderful. Just, just, oh, Lord. I did not right. see that. Guy. You really know how to make a dead old broad feel at home. Yeah, you know you're dead? Of course I know I'm dead. That's the only way I'd be caught on a rinky-dink operation like this. <laughs> when I figure out which circle of hell my agent is in, I'm gonna shove a pitchfork in his eye. His eye! Oh. 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 Pitchfork. <laughs> <laughs> and would it kill you to clean up the ectoplasm from the previous guest? I feel like I'm sitting in a puddle of cold porn. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Did I say cold porn? I meant to say rice pudding. Street, Zombie Dangerfield. Hey, Zombie. How are you? I'm doing terrible. Just terrible. Sorry to hear. Have you interviewed anybody yet? Of course not. Every time I try to talk to somebody, they scream and knock over my stool. <laughs> you know what it's like to have a six-inch stiletto heel shoved in your mouth? Why, yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> well, kinky for you, painful for me. Still, I got a date for tomorrow. Really? Yeah, a couple of girls are using me as a volleyball for a match. They all look like Florence Henderson with the mange, but they still got boobs I can't wait to bounce off of. <laughs> Florence Henderson. <laughs> God, your references. What do you expect from a guy whose medulla oblongata looks like the smegma off a canned ham? <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm starving out here. Somebody get me a plate of brains. Make sure they're not from fat chicks, though. <laughs> I thought you liked your women somewhat, er, uh, um... 
robust. I do, but I'm watching my cholesterol. <laughs> Monster here, showing us how to cook a traditional German dessert. Uh, please call me Klaus. Klaus? <laughs> uh, uh, sure. So, we'll be cooking the standard apple strudel. You know, you have a charming accent. Danke schön, Herr Doctor. Bitte schön. Ah! Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Nein, nein. Sprechen Sie Ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> ja, ja, wunderbar. <laughs> Ghetto. <laughs> ja, ja, ja. Some of you may be wondering, after seeing this episode of Sarcophagi for show, that Dr. Sarcophagi may be gay, because he certainly seemed to be flirting with the Frankenstein monster. <laughs> well, if you must know, Sarcophagi hasn't engaged in sexual congress in quite some time, because he doesn't like Democrats or Republicans. In fact, to his dismay, he's very, very, very independent these days. <laughs> However, Sarcophaga is a strong champion for gay rights, gay lefts, and consequently gay ambidextrous peoples. So, when someone dares to gross dictate on how you ought to copulate, burn the bridge across that chasm, tell him it's not yours, but my orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you tired of your dinner being dull and lifeless? Give your supper a little something super with Reanimator Gravy Mix. All you have to do is inject your meal with our patented low sodium formula, and your meal will literally come to life. Hello, my honey. Hello, my darling. Hello, my. Say, weren't you going to eat me? Uh-huh. <laughs> Reanimate a gravy mix. Resurrect the flavor, resurrect the fun. The pleasure was all mine. <laughs> Before you go, could you do that little thing you promised to do? Uh, no. No, 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 <laughs> no. Nothing doing. Oh, come on. You promised. <laughs> no, it, it, it's too embarrassing. Pretty please, with plasma on it. It's already set up and everything. Please. Oh, for Christ's sakes, cut to the chase. <sighs> oh, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> now do the line. Ooh, must have been too hot. I did not see that coming. I broke the sarcophagi. I brought you something you've always wanted. What? What? This. Ooh. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. I wouldn't recommend it. Stop playing, kitty, kitty. Come on. Let's go, <laughs> 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 
if the dead kid it is Robert John Junior Ted and uh, who's that over there? That would be actor George Kennedy. I know who that is. I'm talking about the other guy. Is that is that Anakin Skywalker? <laughs> I believe that would be Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker. Party Crasher. <laughs> dead or undead performers of a certain spectrum specialness. <laughs> Is it ego, you ask? No. It seems that the local reality here doesn't allow for more than one crayon countenance at a time. <laughs> Observe. Ernest the intern, are you a person of pigment? Yes, yes. I'm very much hue endowed. <laughs> Damn! 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 So do you think your potion will actually work for me, Penny? La da dee, la da da, la da 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 da, da 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 da. Of course, dear sarcophagi, if my herbal elixir, potential trademarked, can put beards on Mount Rushmore, it can certainly promote hair on your charmingly bald pate, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that sounds just swell, just swell. Soon you'll be able to carry a comb, have split ends, and have dander, just like the rest of us. <laughs> oh well then, let's get to it. Ah, ah, this is rather tasty. What's in this? Eleven herbs and spices. And the ashes of Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I look like Barry White. <laughs> Never more, baby. <laughs> When Dr. Sarcophaga uses the public restroom, he tends to nest. <laughs> Invariably, he's left without toilet paper to do his necessaries. So, when you're stranded on the can, you need only one man. Charmin Ra. All you have to do is recite the mystical incantation. Shaman Ra, can you spare a square? Ooh, the feel of ancient Egyptian linen. And it's two ply. No more disgusting than the idea of a bunch of bears wiping their <coughs> with toilet paper. Does a bear crap in the woods indeed? Shaman raw toilet paper. Just a touch of tut on your butt. Just a touch of tut on your butt. <laughs> now for my musical gift. Fantasmania. <laughs> I did not see that coming. 
Who can take the sunrise? Sprinkle it with dew. Mr. Davis! That's Davis Jr., man. I'm a hyphen. Right, right. I've been a fan of yours in the pack for like ever. Cool, baby. I brought some memorabilia that I thought you might like to see. Abraham Blinken. You had a name for it? Yeah, it was part of a set. Abraham Blinken, Wee Willie Winkin, and Rod the Knot. And didn't wear Wee Willie much because he didn't fit right. Made my eye twitch funny and the girls think I'm fresh. Say, man, can I try Abe out for old time's sake? Hell yeah! Oh, crap! And now for my musical guest, Sammy Davis Jr. Sub creature! Go for the Gotharian! Go for the Destruction! Zelda Brink and Copac Lone! Vulgus Blah Blah Blah! The Traveler has come! Choose and perish! Choose? Choose what? Choose! Choose the form of your Destructor! I don't know. That choice has been made. Chica, chica. What? I, Bobby? I, I couldn't help it. It just popped in there. She wouldn't. She? Be honest. Does this skyscraper make me look fat? Sarcophagus for show, in its attempt to lend class and distinction to its program, has invited the ghost and literary genius Trubu Capote to the show. However, it all descends to the levels of cheap mockery, as he is repeatedly tricked into reciting the phrase, You know what? I'm happy, due to Mr. Capote's unfortunate vocal similarities to cartoon character Droopy Dog. So, Truman, how are you feeling today? Are you happy? You know what? I'm happy. <laughs> Are you sure you're happy? I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else? I feel good. I knew that I would now. I feel good. I knew that I would now. So good. So good. I got you. Wow! Say what? Are you tired of knuckleheads telling you your taste in movies suck? Are you tired of knuckleheads saying you can't tell the difference between a movie or the movie-going experience? Are you tired of knuckleheads criticizing a movie for being boring and predictable, especially after loving it the first 15 times they saw it? It's time to shut the knucks up. And run out and get my book, There Are No Bad Movies, Only Bad Audiences. I know, I know what you knuckleheads are saying. There are bad movies. But people have been trying to challenge me on that for years. Of course there are bad movies. But for every bad movie, there is somebody out there that loves the hell out of it. But 
There is also knuckleheads out there who will do everything within their power to ruin your enjoyment of it. Hence, the second part of the title of the book, the important part, Bad Audiences. With There Are No Bad Movies, Only Bad Audiences, you'll be able to effectively shut the knuckleheads down and enjoy your quote-unquote bad movie in peace and leave their rusty, got nothing better to do than act all self-centered, narcissistic, overly critical, holier-than-thou butts in the dust. There are no bad movies, only bad audiences. It's only $14.95, available on Amazon.com or wherever books are sold. Get your copy now and tell them Dr. Sarcophagus says smacking you is the sound of one hand clapping. Yes. <laughs> Sarcophagi invites you to take a ride on the Lovecraft. Welcome to the show. We say, did somebody leave their vacuum cleaner on? Why well, look, everybody. It's Peaches Christ and her transoriginal diva escape ship. <laughs> That's right, Doctor. My tarred ass. Can I go for a ride? Step right up and cling to Peaches. She's gonna take you to the outer reaches. Yay! Where are we going? Well, to my favorite pleasure planet, Transsexual, in the constellation of Transylvania. What the hell? Feels like we're caught in the gravity of a black well. A what? Oh, it's just a black hole, but only ten times bitchier. A black well is usually preceded by the arrival of my arch Nemesis. Draculonda, the vampire of villainy. Prepare to be boarded, sugar. Damn, she's hot. Now, Baylor, you know my favorite movie of yours is White Zombie. Jess, it is one of my favorites as well. My biggest regret about the movie is that they didn't use my product. Tie-in. You mean this one? <laughs> On a sultry night like this, I want to be closer to you, but you keep pulling away. <laughs> There, take care that you don't break my heart. In your brain. <laughs> I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eyes, his own 
the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Baby, they try to be rude 